Hello everyone, my name is Milia. Welcome to my channel. Uh, it is time for an update for my Pandos eyeshadows. Uh, I don't know what update this is, but it's the July update. So, uh, uh, the Pandos eyeshadows project was created by Alexandra Shurston. I will have her linked down below. Uh, it's technically a project where we have a list of all of our eyeshadows and we randomly select five, I, I choose five, uh, shadows randomly to heat pan on. I also have a rule that I can roll out a shadow after 15 uses if I want to. Um, yeah. Um, so we have an exciting update and not so exciting update. We have two shadows rolling out. Uh, but one of them I lost, so that's not so great. But we did hit one pan this month, so we'll start off with that one, because it's the one that's been in for the longest. And it is a shadow from the lovely Cosmetics Pastel Tropics palette. I was working on the ninth shade, which is the most neutral shadow in the entire palette, and I did hit pan on it. These are very shallow pans, uh, I found, so, yeah, uh, I used it once since the last update for a total of seven uses to heat pan on it. Uh, it wasn't brand new when I rolled it in, but still, it, it was fairly easy to heat pan on this shadow, um, but I'm very excited about it. I have one more pan in my collection, so that's good. Uh, and we're gonna replace this. Uh, the next shadow comes from the Unconditional Love by Makeup Revolution. Um, I'm working on the shade Proposal, which is this shade right here. Uh, I've used this four times since the last update, which is great. Uh, but we're up to seven uses, and there is a dip on this shadow. I'm wearing it on, like, the middle of my lid right now. I do like this shadow. Um, I'm gonna swatch it, so we'll get a color story, but it's just a neutral, wait, neutral shimmer shade. Uh, it is really pretty. Um, and yeah, it's gonna stay in the project. The next shadow is the one that I lost. It's the shade White Teeth from the Ross and Makeup Revolution palette. I don't know where that palette is, which sucks because I'm panning two shades out of that palette. One in this project, one in my roulette project pan. But I can't find that palette anywhere. Um, I was able to use that shade once uh, since the last update before I lost it. So we were up to three uses for that shadow, but I can't find it. So we will replace it because it's been gone for over a month now and I don't know where it is. So yeah, we're gonna roll in a new shadow to replace that one. Um, the next shadow I've been working on is the shade Love from the Affinity Palette by Makeup Revolution. Uh, the shade Love is this one right here. Um, it's just a light yellow gold shadow. It's really pretty and it works really well with Proposal. Uh, I'm actually wearing them together today, so I have Proposal on, like, the middle of my lid, and then Love on the inner part of my lid and my inner corner. <laughs> uh, so, that's what it looks like. Um, I've used it twice since the last update, for a total of three uses, and there is some disturbance in the shadow, but nothing, nothing major. So, yeah, it's, it's staying in the project. And the shadow that I rolled in my last update 
comes from the Constellation palette from Makeup Revolution as well. Uh, and I'm working on the shade Spiral, which is a purple shimmer, uh, which uh, is on my lower lash line today. Um, I've used it three times since the last update, so since I rolled it in. It is a pretty purple shadow, but I don't wear a lot of purple, but it's really pretty. So, I don't mind working on it, but also there is some disturbance in that shadow as well, which is nice. Uh, but it'll take me a while to hit pan on these. But yeah, so these are the three palettes that are staying in the project, and these are the shadows. Uh, I'm rolling out this one because I hit pan on it, and I'm rolling out the Ross palette because I lost it. So we are rolling in two new shadows. I have my pretty random app. I accidentally shook it, so we will shake it again. But I have the numbers 1 through 1092 on here. So we'll see which two shadows I will get. 39. The shade number 39 is... The shade Aurora from the Makeup Revolution Utopia palette. And the next shade is going to be 406, which will be the shade Lopez from the Balm Tr Meat Matrimony palette. So I will go and get those two shadows, and I'll be right back. I'm back, and I have my shadows. I haven't looked at them yet, but I have the palettes right here. So the first shadow that we rolled in was the shade Aurora from the Makeup Revolution Utopia palette. So we'll see what that shade is. Oh, okay, so it is the blue shimmer shade that matches my nail polish. That's nice. Uh, that's the shade we'll be working on. Um, I don't think I've ever used this shadow, to be honest, and it's not very pigmented. Like, I have to really dig in there to get the pigment. But that's the shade. It's really pretty. Um, and I think it'll look pretty with the purple. So, okay. That's going to be our first shadow. But it's really tightly packed in there. So it'll, it'll be difficult. And these are not that shallow. So, yeah. I'm I'm scared, but I'm even more scared of this one because the balm shadows are really deep. Like they're really deep. Uh so we are penning the shade Matt Lopez, which is it's a neutral shade. It's this one right here. Uh I have loose powder on this shadow, but it is this shade right here. It has a small dip already. Because I think it was in a project last year. Uh, it's just a neutral brown crease shade. So I think it'll be very easy to use. Uh, also, it already has a dip. So maybe I can heat pan on it. But these are really deep. Like, they are really deep. I have heat pan on this shadow twice. Um, it's deep. So... I'm scared. I'm scared. But at least 15 times I will use it. And yeah, that is my update. These are my shadows. I know I have a lot of these Makeup Revolution palettes. Like, I have almost all of them. So they get rolled in a lot. But that's okay. This is our color story. 
Uh, it's very neutral with two pops of color, which is nice. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to have a matte because I'm not panning a lot of matte shadows. Uh, in fact, my pan that palette is the only matte shadows that I'm panning currently. So I'm I'm excited. Uh, but anyways, that is my update for my Pandos eyeshadows. If you enjoyed this update, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.